So allow yourself to settle in. If you're rushing to get here, it's you're here, you made it. <laughs> and you're welcome to sit. Or if you'd like, you can lie down, maybe with your feet on the floor and knees falling together. That feels good. Let's begin to be one with the breath. Noticing the breath as it comes in through the nose or through the mouth. Feeling it pass through the body and then letting go of the breath. Again, noticing the inhale. Follow it through your body. And then let the breath go on an exhale. Just continue settling into your own breath pattern, your own melody of breath. And tonight we're going to create a space full of loving kindness. And we'll begin by directing loving kindness toward ourselves. So whether you're seated or lying down, bring your awareness to your physical body, to your breath, to your being. And let's just remind ourselves that we are here. The rushing is behind us. There's nowhere we need to go, nothing we need to do. So lean into that, lean into being here, having arrived. And we'll begin by directing loving kindness toward ourselves, laying the groundwork for our practice. So say to yourself out loud or to yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. May I be happy. May I have peace. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. May I be happy. May I have peace. And lean into that. Now our first yin shape to support us this evening is going to be our heart melting pose. So we can come onto our knees and bring those knees underneath the hips. And if you have blocks, you don't have to have blocks, but if you have them, maybe set them side by side like train tracks, or you can angle them toward each other. 
and just try it out. See how it feels if you lower your forearms onto the blocks and then bring those knees back as far away as feels good. And then melt the heart down. Let the heart fall between those shoulders. And if you prefer not to use blocks, then just come onto the floor with the forearms. And maybe the head comes closer to the ground. And if you have a blanket, it's really, really sweet to just drape that blanket across the back. So we're going to cool off in our yin yoga. So on a rainy, endlessly rainy day like today, it can be really nice to have a blanket. And then just let that heart melt down. Maybe the forehead coming to the ground and the side of the head. And just let it all go. And then this offering to yourself, maybe repeat it to yourself. May I be filled with loving kindness. Repeating it as many times as you'd like throughout our practice tonight. might notice the shoulders opening or the back opening. You might enjoy having the forehead supported on the floor. Whatever benefit you feel from this pose, let it be your own. Any annoyance from this pose, consider it a messenger. Just feel into the annoyance. What's behind the irritation? May I be filled with love and kindness. Noticing any release in the body. Notice any letting go. Repeating to yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness two more times.
And after that second recitation, let's come onto our backs. So maybe we lift up kind of into a tabletop and maybe sway the hips just a little bit and round the back. And then maybe we just lower all the way down, taking that blanket with us. And this is our rebound. So we come onto our backs and just allow that energy that was in the shape, allowing it to come into this neutral position. And then just noticing where the energy goes. And then letting go of all awareness and just allowing that energy to travel where it needs to go. Relaxing our faces, our hands, and our rebound. One of my teachers says that the proof is in the rebound. <laughs> This is the most beneficial part of yin yoga. So pretty cool. We can just lay on our backs and let that chi do its work. We'll breathe in on your exhale. Be saying out loud or to yourself at the end of it, may I be filled with loving kindness. Now let's draw our knees into our chest, keeping that blanket over the knees, hug the knees in, and rock side to side and massage that low back, maybe lift the upper back off the ground and notice maybe a little massage on the mid back. And let's lower down the upper back again. And then let's send our feet to the sky, the blanket still over the legs. And then if you look at your Zoom screen, you might see a bunch of Halloween ghosts. <laughs> Easiest costume known to man, the sheet over the, over the head. <laughs> and maybe just laugh to yourself, laugh at my lame joke, have some levity in the room. Let's hug our knees back into the chest, rock side to side, massage the low back. And then gently let's roll over to one side and then we'll press up to seated. And now we'll come into a nice stretch for hopefully the glutes or the outer hips. I'm gonna move my blanket off so you can see. We're gonna bring one leg back. So maybe the knees and line with the hip a little bit and the other the ankle is below the knee. The other knee is just out from the other hip and that ankle is maybe aligned with the, the knee if that feels good. And then from there, we can either lean back, stretching the quad, or if you want a little bit of a glute stretch, maybe leaning forward. And if you don't get a glute stretch leaning forward, then what you can try is you can come onto your backs and bring that ankle on top of that, just below that left knee and hug the, the legs in for a figure four. That'll also stretch that outer glute. So sometimes if you can't feel it with the knees like this, 
If you don't feel the outer glute stretch there, try it on your back. And if you don't feel it anywhere, feel free to unmute and we could figure another stretch out. And now our hands that are on that shin, they're not, we're not pulling the legs in. Our hands and gravity, the weight of our arms are what kind of draw those knees in. It's our yin and yoga, so we're trying to be a little effortless in finding the pose, but then noticing that there's probably some sensation in the muscles of the body. Perhaps releasing a deep breath out, sigh, helping that body relax into the shape. And if you wanna bring that blanket over yourself, if that feels good, you can. So it's kind of like a, the icing on the cake this time of year. It's a little gentleness for ourselves with the blanket. Now closing the eyes, even the closing of the eyes is effortless. Just repeating to ourselves, either out loud or to ourself. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. Just repeating as many times as your practice would invite. Sometimes those inner dangers are our thoughts. We kind of ruminate on a thought pattern and we just make that thought pattern a really deep groove in our system. So when we do our, meta, our metta meditation, our loving kindness meditation, we're creating a new groove So find that new groove. <laughs> May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. Just leaning into the energy in this shape, leaning into your mantra.
And now repeat your mantra to yourself two more times. If you don't remember what it is, that's okay. And now gently releasing the hands from the shin. I think most of us are in that figure four. Coming onto your backs. Letting those legs go out long. And again, this rebound, that's the good stuff. Just letting go. If you ever feel as though you need to let a deep breath go, you can let a breath go. If you feel like you want to pause and retain the breath before letting it go. Now we'll inhale, draw our knees into our chest. Send our legs with our blankets on our feet to the sky. It's a little Halloween party early. <laughs> and then hug the knees in. Let the legs come down to the ground. We're gonna roll onto our side. We'll do our <clears throat> glute stretch on the other side in just a moment, but we're going to bring our feet far apart, coming into a wide-legged fold. So if you have blocks or a pillow, sometimes that's kind of nice. <clears throat> if you want, you can cover up your legs or your, your feet. Sometimes it's nice to drape the blanket over the back. If you have two blankets, you can do both. Now with our legs wide, our feet wide, let the feet fall either in or out, wherever your natural hip, allow your feet to fall in or out. And then maybe bring your elbows to a pillow. You can stack a bunch of pillows up high and you can rest your head on blocks and pillows, just like this. Sometimes what I like to do is just Hold my head in my hands, supporting the head and hands. If you lean forward, you might notice a stretch in the back or on the backs of the legs. Sometimes if we want to feel a stretch in the back more, we can elevate the hips a little they're sitting on a folded blanket. So if you wanna feel it in your back, you can fold some blankets. If you're feeling really good right where you are, and just let yourself rest here. We exhale a breath, letting go of the breath. And 
in a forward fold. Our nervous system will signal to the body that we're in a safer place. So this system that is constantly taking in feedback from our, our external environment, determining if we're safe or if we're being threatened, whether we need to fight, flight, or freeze, or whether we can rest and digest. That system is always observing, always taking in from the external to inform the internal. So when we fold forward and maybe let a long exhale go, it signals internally that we're safe. And when we feel safe internally, we can interact differently externally. So finding that safer place right now. The breath, a tool to support that. And then our mantra May I be happy. May I be happy. May I be happy. Sometimes in our yin yoga poses, it might feel as though our legs, for example, right now, it might feel like our legs get a little longer because that fascia is releasing. And if that's the case, we can breathe in and maybe exhale, fold a little more. Maybe we decide to fold a little less. Just listening to the body. Feeling that release and creating that space right now with the breath and with the shape for letting go. And repeating to yourself, may I be happy. So a couple more times. Then when you're ready, just gently bringing those shoulders back over the hips. Moving any pillows or bolsters out of the way off to the side so we can come back into our rebound. And so moving right onto the back. Maybe you want to come onto your stomach this time by finding your rebound. <sighs>
that chi in the body, that energy, it's being compressed. There's a little tension in areas that we create intentionally so we can have this moment of rebound where the chi flows freely again. Now hugging knees into the chest, letting that low back come to the ground. You can rock side to side. And then the option to extend those legs to the sky, blanket over the feet, over the legs. Let that chi run down the legs. Let the Halloween party continue just a little bit. And then bending the legs again, and we'll come into our reclined figure four on the other side. I think that we were all on our backs for that one, that glute stretch. So you can bring that right ankle, or excuse me, the left ankle on the right leg this time. And you can interlace your hands on the shin letting gravity and the weight of the body draw that leg down, cover up with a blanket, a little extra support. And then leaning into the shape. If you don't wanna do, if you're not feeling the outer hip stretch, with that figure four on that side, then we can try with one leg bent and the other leg bent back, kind of a 90-90. And then leaning forward. And I'll just model that one on the side. and adjusting and arriving in this shape. When you feel settled, and find that mantra, may I have peace. May I have peace.
Now reciting your mantra two more times. And on your exhale, just gently coming into your rebound. Maybe noticing the sides of the body. Noticing if one feels different than the other. Maybe feeling the chi moving in the body. Now let's draw our knees into our chest. And then rock side to side. Maybe you send the knees to one side and then the other. And then we'll send our legs to the sky. Blanket over the feet, over the legs. The point flex the feet. And we'll exhale, draw the legs in. Send the feet to the ground, let the knees come out to the side and the soles of the feet come together. We'll be here for just a few breaths. Our reclined butterfly. Feeling the chi in this shape. You're welcome to stay in our climbed butterfly for a little while longer if you're ready to come into Shavasana. Send those legs long. Set up any props that you would like for your Shavasana. Anything that you want to offer your body for support in our final resting pose.
In your shalasana, if there's a mantra that stood out that rang particularly true and supportive for you, you can find that. Or if you want to just rest with your mind quiet, your body still, whatever will support you in your practice. And sometimes in our yoga practice, oftentimes we seek to, if emotions come up or thoughts come up, we want to dismiss them or come back to them later. But if it feels right for you tonight, if emotions come up and the space is feeling nurturing and the safe space for those emotions, just maybe let them be here. Those emotions speak to us as messengers. Just like those droplets of rain hit the window and glide down. Just allow that loving kindness to trickle into our space, filling us with loving kindness. Feel yourself happy and peaceful. Free from inner and outer danger. As we rest in loving kindness.
as we begin to transition into our loving kindness meditation. You're welcome to rest on your back. Or if you'd like, you can roll over to one side and come up to a seated position. One is not better than the other. It's just what your preference is. So just be really gentle with yourself and honest. You'd rather lie down or if you'd like to sit. If you're lying on your back, let's bring some awareness to the breath. Moving into a four count inhale, pausing for two at the top, and then a six count exhale. If you're seated, you can practice your Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. Now bringing our awareness to our feet and scanning the body from the feet to the crown of the head and then back to the feet. And as you scan up the body this time, you just say out louder to yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. May I be happy. May I have peace. You now bring in your awareness of someone that you love. It could be a pet or a nephew, friend, or family member. We'll extend loving kindness to them. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you be happy. May you have peace. Now bring your awareness to someone that you happen to see just perhaps <clears throat> in passing in your neighborhood or when you're doing errands. You see their face to that person. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you be happy. May you have peace.
Now bring in your awareness to a person with whom you have maybe a challenging relationship. Perhaps it's an organization. And to that person, whatever it may be, sending them loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you be happy. May you have peace. Now visualizing everyone in this room with us tonight. We'll send each other loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you be happy. May you have peace. And now resting in loving kindness. Giving yourself permission to stay there as long as you'd like. It's awesome.